Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. In August of 1990, a movie came out that would eventually be one of the more influential films uh, that I grew up with. It would be one of the movies that I look back on now and can clearly see that it is very much a Generation X film. Uh, that movie is Pump Up the Volume, starring Christian Slater. And if you haven't seen it, uh, you should track it down and check it out. Uh, it's a little dated, uh, and you'll see why in a second. But the performances turned in are really solid, and if you have any memory at all of what it was like to be a teenager, especially a teenager in the 80s and uh, early 90s, uh, you'll really, really appreciate a lot of the stuff that goes on in this movie. Uh, the plot of the film is uh, Christian Slater's character, uh, Mark Hunter, has just moved from the East Coast to the middle of nowhere in Arizona. And his parents, in order for him to be able to talk to his friends back home, have given him a shortwave radio. Now, I know... That's a little odd in this day and age. But this is 1990. This is two years before AOL became a thing and three years before everyone started getting AOL discs in the mail all the time and started to have a vague clue of what the internet really was. So shortwave radios were actually not that outlandish when you were talking about long-distance communication that didn't involve picking up the phone and calling. So what Mark does, instead of just using this radio to chat with his friends back east, is he uses it to set up a pirate radio station, which is also a bit of an odd concept these days. Uh, because we have the internet. We can all broadcast anything we want, any time we want, to an audience beyond our imaginations. But in 1990, that was still a thing. The radio was a huge deal, and radio stations were a big deal. There was no Spotify, there was no... YouTube to go to and stream videos of, you, of music. There was the radio and you got what they played. And that was it. So setting up a pirate radio station harkens back to the 70s and the 60s and, and all sorts of radical disruption going on. And this is a movie in 1990 where Gen Xers were definitely coming of age. A lot of us were teenagers, or were about to become teenagers. We had the uh, leading edge of Generation X a few years ahead of us, just getting out of high school. And this movie comes out. This movie where this kid, who's a quiet, shy kid, uh, when he's in school, well-behaved, smart, doesn't, doesn't make any waves, puts on this persona when he lights up the airwaves and he starts talking and he starts questioning and he starts inciting other people to talk and question and fight for what they think they should be allowed to do, to be who they want to be. At the time, the movie really really uh, spoke to me and the idea of being a teenager and the idea of not being afraid to be yourself. In fact, it encouraged it in a whole lot of ways uh, in the movie. Uh, one of the choice quotes that helped put a lot in perspective for me was uh, when Harry, or on, on his pirate radio station, uh, was talking about the trials and tribulations of being a teenager, of being in high school, and how teenagers get looked down on and, and get brushed away very often by the adults around them uh, and by each other. And he said, feeling screwed up 
at a screwed up time in a screwed up place does not necessarily mean you're screwed up. And that was kind of profound at that point in my life. Uh, and kind of profound in the 90s as a whole. Uh, and especially in context of Generation X as a whole. Uh, because we lived through some pretty screwed up times and we're still going through some pretty screwed up times. So feeling screwed up isn't necessarily a bad thing. There's a lot of disruption of this quiet, small town that goes on, all because of someone speaking their mind, and all because there's lots of other people that wish they could speak their minds and be heard. People who don't feel like they're being heard tend to shrink away from who they could be and become pale shadows of what they think everyone else wants them to be. And for Generation X, this is kind of a big deal. This idea of individualism, of finding ourselves, of making waves, but not making waves alone. This idea of coming together through adversity, through individuality. So it's a group identity through individuality. So I saw this movie uh, probably a year or three after it hit the theaters, because I most certainly did not see it in the theaters. Uh, I caught it on video or on HBO or, or something like that. And between the strength of the story and the, the push of the, uh, the outcast encouraging everyone to be outcasts themselves, to be themselves regardless of what anyone else would think or want them to do, uh, was very, very powerful uh, in those high school years, in uh, all the years that have come since then. And just the idea that one voice can make such a fantastic difference is something that in the early 90s especially was revolutionary because we didn't have the connectivity that we have now. We didn't have the ability to reach millions of people on purpose or accidentally with what we say. And this leaves me wondering today, when I look out at this rich media landscape that we all have mostly equal access to, and I wonder what the millennial generation, what the generation that will come after them will be inspired by, will think about when they're not feeling heard. So tell me, down in the comments, have you seen Pump Up the Volume? And what have you, what did you think of it? And if you're part of the younger generation, part of the millennial generation and younger, you're living in a world that when I saw this movie, we could barely dream of. What makes you feel heard these days? Is it as important to you as it was to me? If you like the things I have to say about movies and all of this other stuff I've been talking about, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you're subscribed, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button uh, and get notified when these things come out. Uh, and if you know someone who may be interested in this sort of stuff, share this with them so they can get involved in the conversation. And uh, as... Christian Slater, uh, as Happy Harry Hardon said in the movie, talk hard, be heard, don't be afraid to be yourself. I'm Kier, that's it for tonight, guess I'll see you tomorrow.